The decision came after a day of deliberations held amid tight security around Cambodia's Supreme Court. The Cambodia National Rescue Party had been expecting its dissolution and had already ceased to function, with many of its senior members in hiding or in exile like its vice president, Musakur. We look at the trial as the trial of democracy. It's a significant message to uh, the international community that Mr. Hun Sen is a dictator who wants to remain in power. Prime Minister Hun Sen has accused his rivals of plotting to overthrow his government after the arrest of opposition leader Kem Sokar. The National Rescue Party denied the claim, accusing the ruling party of using the courts to silence it. It nearly won against the government at the last election and has been gaining in popularity. Look, Cambodian politics is a zero-sum game. It's a winner-takes-all politics and it's, uh, it's risky to lose. Human rights groups have accused Hun Sen of a wider crackdown. One of the leading newspapers, the Cambodia Daily, was closed in September, the government says, for non-payment of taxes. And there have been restrictions on the activities of foreign NGOs. The opposition has promised to fight on regardless. It can continue and it do exist and it is in the hearts of the everyone in Cambodia. It can continue to exist from inside and outside because the movement for change is vibrant. With this court's decision, Prime Minister Hun Sen removes in one stroke his biggest obstacle in next year's election. He will still face opposition, but it will likely be from smaller parties, unable to organize themselves in time to unseat him. And his premiership, that has lasted for three decades, is set to continue. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Phnom Penh.